Hi oh guys, got a um, Discovery 3, the 06 model, early, early Discovery 3, the turbo diesel V6 in the manual. Um, not many in Australia, but uh, this might help you out in England or if anyone does have a manual and you happen to accidentally slip the clutch, which I just did. I've got a pretty heavy camper on the back. Um, it brings up, I'll just grab this camera show you on the dash there uh, if you can see that it brings up a park brake fault and it flashes park brake also where you've got your neutral you watch I put it in gear and the one doesn't flash up it does eventually when you when you start driving but normally it's instant as you would know see the little end for neutral put it into first that should flash up that's when you know it's uh, called an XY sensor, I'm pretty sure. But there is a way to reset it. You don't have to go to your spend thousands, get a new clutch and handbrake and everything. So I'll just go through, I'll pass the camera back to my lovely wife. Now, if you look down here, so what you do, you put it into low range. Okay, low selected. Now, first gear. Now, you wait till the one comes up, foot right in, second gear, right off, wait till the two comes up. They're normally instant, as I said, but same third. The threes come up, fourth, the fours come up. Fifth, fifths come up. And into sixth. You need a good straight the sixth come up. Okay. Now back into neutral. Put off the clutch. Back on. Now into reverse. And just reverse a bit till that R comes up. There it is. Back into neutral. Hopefully that's fixed it. Sometimes you gotta do it twice. Nope, hasn't fixed it. <laughs> Here we go, we'll try again. I need a bit a bit of a longer stretch. I'm in a road stop truck truck parking area. Fifth and into sixth. Running out of road. Okay. Now I'll leave my foot on the clutch. Maybe that's what I did different. Okay, now reverse. I'm towing a camper, so I've got to be careful here. Okay. Let's see if that worked. Nope, hasn't worked. Alright, we'll try it once more. <laughs> Third time lucky. Actually, I've done this before. We'll turn it off. Handbrake on. Came up with the park brake fault. Pull the key out. Let it do its system check. All clear. Now the park brake fault's not there at the moment, but it's still not showing me the the first. So we'll go through the gears again now. Okay, park brake fault again has come up. To six. All right, there we go. Neutral. Try that foot off. Right down to the floor. Reverse. 
foot straight off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Get rid of that park brake fault. Pee out. Yeah. System check. Okay, I'll just grab this camera. Now, have a look here. I've got no. That's the red light, so if I turn the park brake off, see that one's gone. There's no park brake fault. See the N, neutral N, put in first gear, instant. See that? It's fixed. A lot of people have taken their car to a um, mechanic, because it feels strange too when you change gears, the clutch isn't working properly. What it's doing, it resets your transfer case. Apparently, I found a tiny little forum. Only one thing on it when I when I first did it. I thought I'd done my clutch, uh, and apparently a lot of people have taken their cars in. Sure enough, they've said, "Yep, you've done a clutch," but really, it just needed resetting. So there's a little tip to help you out.